Welcome to Xara template tutorial lesson number 21. In this Xara Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll be going over how to back up files or to, so, to set up basically a backup interval. And the reason we want to do that is because sometimes you may have a situation where maybe your computer crashes and you don't have an opportunity to save. And in those cases, you want to have an automatic, a automatic backup mechanism. And also we'll be going over how to set it where when you close the program too and if you forget to save, it'll automatically save it as well. Alright, if you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in XR Web Designer 7 Premium. Once you do that, we're going to go to File in the upper left hand corner here. And we're going to go to the option that says Page Options. Left click on that and it'll bring up a prompt for your options menu and we're going to go to the tab that says backups and you'll see that to the far right and once you see backups left click on that and it'll bring up a series of options for your auto backup and you'll see that the first option here is back backup open documents every 10 minutes so I have mine set to, set to about every 10 minutes and I think that's a pretty good number. You can decide if you want to back it up more often. But do just realize that the more backups that you have going on, the more disk space that you're going to be using. So if you're backing it up every 60 seconds and you're designing for an hour, that's a lot of backup. So I would recommend setting it about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, half a backup of your document. So that sets the, the time interval for the first option. So make sure that you have it checked with this checkbox here. If you see a check mark there that means you have backups for for document set. And then set a time interval. I would leave it at 10 minutes, but if you want it to you could change it to 15. And then once you change that number, you would just hit the apply key down here and then hit okay. I'm not going to hit apply and okay because I want to leave it at 10 minutes. Now I'll hit apply. But I won't hit OK because I still want to do some things in here. So you can make changes and then hit apply. And then when you're, you make all your changes, you will hit OK. For the next option here, you see backup, open documents on program close, and restore on program start. And that's what I was talking about a little bit earlier when I was describing the things that we're going to cover in this tutorial. So this basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to close the program and reopen it even if you haven't saved that document it'll open up when you reopen the program again and the last section here I'm not going to cover backup location I would recommend just leaving that the same but you know essentially if you hit the browse key here you could select where you want to save your your backups but I think it's smarter just to leave it the way the program sets it that way you don't you know get lost trying to figure out where the where the file is at so don't worry about that you don't really need to know that you'll still be able to access your backups from within the program without knowing where the backup location is at uh, the last section here is just a number of revisions that you'll keep maximum of each document and there's a maximum of 10 revisions so you know if we worked for you know a hundred minutes since I have it set to 10 minute intervals for each backup in the first option up here that means that it will take 100 minutes for 10 revisions to happen on the, the current document I'm working with. Now if I work for 120 minutes, it's not going to make 12 revisions. The two, two of those revisions aren't going to exist anymore. And only the 10 most recent uh, 100 minutes of working in the document will be backed up. So you'll have 10 backups at a maximum of 10 backups or 10 revisions. The, the two, you know, last ones that you worked on, I mean, you know, the, the two ones that you worked on most, like the longest ago, will not exist anymore, but the 10 most recent ones will still exist. So just know that the 10 most recent revisions you've made to the document will, will be the ones that will be backed up. So if you worked 200 minutes, you know, the first 100 minutes will no longer matter, just the the last hundred minutes of that two hundred minutes will the it'll back up those ten revisions for that last hundred minutes. So I think that makes sense. Alright, so 
now that you understand how that works go ahead and hit OK and I want to show you where you would access your your backups go to file in your upper left hand menu here and then go to where is that where is it at? I'm kind of lost myself here give me one moment I'm trying to think of where you find it at yeah yes yeah. so you go to open recent that's where it's at even sometimes I forget where things are at even though, though I've been using this program for quite a while when you go to the open recent option you'll see I have a lot of open recent so just ignore all this other stuff at the top you'll see a, a option at the bottom though that says backups and when you get to backups you're gonna left click on that and this is where you access your backups that it, it made when we made those settings in the program and I'll go back a little further just to show you that it, it's backed up some of the tutorials that I've completed even and if you, I click on one of these you'll see that if you've seen some of my tutorials you'll notice that I draw rectangles a lot and this may look familiar to you if you look at this preview window here so as you select the, the different backups you'll see a preview of it in the preview window and it'll show you what that particular document looks like so if you watch a lot of my tutorials some of these rectangles should look familiar alright and if you wanted to open one of them you would just hit this open key and I'm gonna go ahead and just open one just to show you if you left click on open you'll see that it brings up the, the document that I worked on at that particular time now I'm gonna close that out by clicking this X in here for the tab so we can close that window out and then for that blank new document that we had we're gonna go ahead and just draw some rectangles and give it a few colors it doesn't matter what color and I'm not gonna save this document I'm go ahead go and go ahead and select the selection tool by the way as well and I'm not gonna save this document I'm just gonna close it without even saving it and that mechanism that we set in the backup options should protect you because it's supposed to, it's supposed to still keep it in memory even after you close the program so I'm going to purposely close this program and then I'm going to reopen it but first I'm going to bring up my recording program and then I'm going to bring back up this program and you don't have to worry about that I just did that for for another reason but let's go ahead and close uh, this by going to the upper right hand X up here in the right hand corner don't click the the one here because then it's going to give you a prompt if you click that one it'll say do you want to save your changes so don't click that one hit cancel if you hit this X the smaller X that's not red that's going to close all your documents and then it's going to prompt you to save and you will lose everything if you close it that way make sure you hit the red X at the top right hand corner if you hit that one you got left clicking and then go back to open web designer you'll see once this program opens back up we'll still have that particular file saved in, in memory it's not physically saved but it's still accessible you won't have to start all over so if you accidentally close the program and you click that red X without saving you'll still have your document here because of the settings that we set earlier and I'll show you what that setting is again if you, in case you don't remember go to file go to page options and then go to backups and you'll see the option that says backup open documents on program close and restore on program start so once we restart the program it brought these rectangles back up in the document that we were working in so make sure that you have that that check the checkbox for that option check because you know you may accidentally close the program out and if you don't have that set you could lose everything so there's just a few different ways that the program protects you so that you don't lose your work uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful in helping you learn more about backups and you know how it can help you if you're working on a client site and you do accidentally close it or something happens you'll always have that that copy either backed up or the program will automatically keep it in memory so that the next time you restore the program it'll still be there if you have any questions please send me a message on YouTube and don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if this video was helpful and helping you learn a little bit more about how to use XR Web Designer 7 Premium yeah.